Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and of course, welcome back to a new episode of the Small Town RP. Now, as you can see, we got a pretty packed driveway right now, and as a matter of fact, the power wagon is sitting in the yard right now because I didn't feel super comfy uh, leaving it up there on the rocks, but today we have our first land clearing job, and we are going to be using the Duramax to actually haul the skid steer out there. We're not using the F-150 because we kind of, we figured out the hard way how that went last time. And we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. We're going to get it hooked up to the trailer. And then we're also going to get a couple of other things situated um, in order to get all set for this job. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to scoot that trailer away from where the F-150 is. Now, let me actually, you know what? You know what we need to do? We need to move the F-150 just a little bit so we have space to scoot that trailer. Now, let's see... All right, let me back you up just a tad. I'm going to move the F-150 a lot closer to the gooseneck. We are going to use the pull-behind trailer, but the reason we're going to use it is because I, I still feel really bad um, taking up the entire gooseneck just for the one skid steer. It seems a little over the top, you know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead and attach this trailer. And I think... Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. Oh, that trailer was having a bad time. Is it going to be okay now? Okay. That trailer was freaking out. Like, that trailer was not happy. Holy crap. But I feel like this trailer will do a little bit better behind this thing. Because this thing can support more weight. It's got more power. It's got more torque. It's got more grip. It's got more everything. You know what I mean? It's got more everything. And I think it should be able to handle um, hauling the skid steer on a pull behind just fine, and I think it'll be perfectly okay for this job. So let's go ahead and shut the engine down. We'll run back over there and hop in the skid steer, and let's fire this thing up. We'll get the bucket up off the ground, and let's get it onto the trailer, and hope that we can do it without, uh, incident this time. There was a little bit of an incident the last time we tried to do this. Um, let's see. Actually, we should back it on. Yeah, we should back it on. That way, once we get there, it'll be extremely easy to get it all situated. All right, reverse. And although I don't know what this is going to do to the way the weight is going to be distributed. Oh, my God. Okay, um... Well, we're maxing the trailer out a little bit. Oh, wow. You can see how it moves the weight. Look at this. Look at that. You can see kind of where that center axis of the trailer is, too. Okay, let's bring the bucket back down and see if that changes anything. It doesn't. Yeah, at least it doesn't seem like it does. Okay, let's shut this thing down and we'll switch over to the Denali again and see if once we put the ramps up, we'll see if everything can kind of sort itself out. I really don't know if it's going to, but we'll see. So, eh, I'm not too sure. It looks okay-ish. I think it's gonna be fine. Although, let me try and back this up just a hair. Just a hair. And that way, maybe we can put a little bit more of the weight onto the truck. I don't know if it's going to help us or not, but I feel like it could, and it's always worth trying. So let's pack it up. And all right, so let's see if we can get this thing out of here without having it result in serious issues. And I'm actually going to do it in the lower suspension mode, even though it is weighing down the back of the truck some. Um, the reason why I'm going to do it in the lower suspension mode is because... If we raise the rear, what that's going to do is it's actually going to put the trailer at an even more extreme angle. And you can see very clearly uh, when we're trying to turn around that a more extreme angle on the trailer would really not, uh, not be doable. I, it wouldn't be doable at all. So we're not going to do it. Oh my god, we could barely even back up. Uh, I need a more um, hefty pull behind. Because I've got things like this that I only need, like, a pull-behind equipment trailer to haul. But the problem is when I haul them, I collapse the suspension on this pull-behind trailer. Like, it's fine when we're on flat ground, and that's no big deal. But, like, 
the big issue that I run into is that you essentially, I mean, look at the trailer tires. They're donezo. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. They are oofed. That's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of force on those tires. I mean, not only is it a lot of force on the tires, what it really is, is it's a lot of force on the suspension, and the suspension can only take so much before it gives up and says, I've had it with you and your shenanigans. All right, so this house right here is actually the one that we're going to be working at today, and it's for a, like I said before, a land clearing job, and what I mean by that is, is they want us to do, they want us to clear out behind the house itself, and they also want a trail cleared out down towards the river so they can go fishing and stuff like that, like off of the back of their property. So we're going to pull in here, we're going to put the ramps down, we're going to shut this truck off, then we're going to get the skid steer unpacked, and we're going to get it off the trailer, and then our next job after that is going to be to kind of figure out uh, where we want to put this trail. So, because the trail, I think, is what we'll figure out first, and then we'll clear sort of around where we're going to be using that trail as a bit of a guide. Now, we got to watch out for the town side. The, 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 the town will come after us if we don't look out for that. All right, so... Let's go and get you right up here. Now, let's go ahead and get the drone in the air as soon as we get this bucket back on the ground. We'll go ahead and get the drone up in the air, and we will see what we can actually do in terms of a trail back here. So, they've got this... Oh, wow. They've got this big fallen tree in the backyard, too. We should probably chop that up, and I don't know, like, I mean, maybe they'll want the leftovers from that, and if not, I will take them. But let's see, it looks like there's a lot of like just little rocks and underbrush and shrubs back here, but it leads out to this beautiful spot right by the river, and if they wanted to fish off of this, they absolutely could. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to clear out some of the rocks and some of the underbrush. I'm going to leave the big trees, we're not going to cut any trees out, but we're going to clear out some of the rocks and the underbrush, give them a little trail, we're going to start right here, go right back there to their fishing spot, and I think that'll be a good start for us. Although I will say, we may have to go back around the front of the house, because the, uh, the fallen tree is huge, and I don't think this skid steer is going to be able to push it out of the way. That's for a much bigger vehicle, and this is not that. This is not that size. So, go ahead and spin you around just a little bit. Bring you back this way. Thing's got at least a little bit of pep to it. It's not necessarily fast, but it's also not like, you know, snail pace slow either. At least not for a skid steer. Let's bring you up here, and in just a moment, ignore that. In just a moment, we will get to work. All right, so let's see. Let's bring the bucket back down just a little bit. And we'll turn it just a little bit into kind of more of a scrape position. Because I want it to be able to push some of these rocks. And let me get set in position. Whoa, easy. It's definitely like a very particular type of vehicle to get used to. All right, low plus should be exactly where we need it. So, let's start by pushing some of these rocks out of the way, and then once we do that, we should be off to a good start. So, let's see. There we go. All right. Let's push you over there. No! Well, that went well. All right, we are now being very aware of rollovers. I am aware that that was 100% my fault, and uh, that will not be the case again. So we're clearing these rocks out of the uh, out of the proposed trail location, and other than the unexpected rollover, it's going quite well actually. Now there is this fallen tree kind of in the way, but that's not really all that big of a deal. We're going to push these rocks kind of away from the main trail, and as long as we can get them out of there, uh, that's pretty much all we're trying to do today. It's not really all that crazy of a job. So let's get these. These are just small little rocks. They're not, you know, not really a big deal. 
Let's rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, we're stuck in the ground. That bucket can get stuck in the ground pretty easily. Um, it's not, uh, it's not something that is, uh, I guess, always avoidable. Push y'all over there. Wow, we grabbed the big, uh, bigger rock on that one. All right. And then let's push these over here. That should be just about good. And then now, I mean, obviously I know it doesn't look super pretty yet, but we have a usable trail down to, uh, down to the rock face, down to kind of like the water's edge right there. Um, what we really need to do, though, is we need to clean up this area right here, the hill. The hill is a tricky one because you kind of have to figure... Oh, there we go. I wonder. I wonder how... No, 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 no. There we go. How much will it let us do in this regard? I am I am so genuinely curious. All right. No. Yes. Okay, there we go. Bring it that way. Bucket up. Now, nice and easy. If they let me do this... If they let me do this... Oh, my God. Come on, turn... Oh, it's gonna need to go higher than that. It's gonna need to go a lot higher than that. All right, turn. Now, will you let me drop these in the bed of the truck? If it lets me do this, this is next level. I, like, I am, I am so excited to see if it'll let me do this. Yo! Oh my god, that is so sick. Oh my god. That, I... You know what? That is a new level of stuff you could do in SnowRunner. Oh my god! I don't know why I never, like... I don't know why I never tried to do this, or why I never, like, focused on, like, attempting to do this or not, because look at that. We're literally putting boulders in the back of that pickup. Now, I will say that is not always going to be doable, and those boulders will probably not stay in there for very long. Um, and the reason why I don't think they'll stay in there for very long is because um, a lot of the time, the boulders will despawn once you get to a certain point. Although, it is admittedly extremely cool, but it's not like we can take them anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, so if we... So, like, look, they're in the bed of that truck right now, and what we'll do is we'll kind of put this bucket back into place. We'll back this thing up. Whoa, easy. Easy. There we go. And, all right, let's bring the bucket back down. Kind of curl it back up. And it should be good. So now, if I shut this down and I go get in uh, this truck, let's say I was going to drive around to the other side of the house to get the trailer. I'll probably be able to do that, although I doubt I'll be able to, like, go across the river or something. Because those rocks have a... they essentially have an effective area. And once you get too far away from the effective area, then that's kind of that. You're kind of done. Um, but the job is pretty much wrapped up. We got them a trail. We moved the rocks out of the way. Um, we even made a nice little slope down the hill. I'm pretty happy with what we did, actually. So let's go ahead and hook the trailer up. And let's get these ramps off the ground because the ramps are kind of... Well, the ramps are a little bit of a... A fun issue from time to time because it's not an issue with like the ramps themselves or the trailer themselves it, or the trailer itself. It's just kind of how SnowRunner works sometimes to where you hit the raise ramp button and it's like instead of doing it on the first press, it does it on like the third or fourth press. It's something weird about the way... Uh, like, movable objects work in SnowRunner. So we gotta get this trailer back behind the house so we can load the skid steer up. It's an awkward angle as is, and I don't know why I keep trying to go that way. I'm gonna go kind of diagonally from this way instead. Because if I go in this way, then I'll have a much smoother surface to leave on. Almost the- oh, oh, that's too close to the house. That's way too close to the house. All right, that's fine. 
That right there is completely fine. All right, stop engine. And we'll grab the skid steer. I have no issue, you know, bringing it, bringing it up forwards this time. I don't think it's going to cause us any, like, harm or problems. I just need to be careful. Here we go. Up it goes. Whoa, easy. And that's, you know what? It's about good. I'm just going to let it chill right there. I am just absolutely going to let it chill right there. And all I really need to do is go back to the house anyway. So I'm not trying to, like, get myself into any kind of situation with this where, you know, the skid steer is off balance or doesn't want to stay on the... Whoa! See what I mean? Pack, please? Okay, there we go. See how it twisted up a whole bunch right there? Okay, before we do that... We're going to go ahead and run on over to the house, make sure they have paid for the job. And they have. We're all good. All right, let's go ahead and get on out of here. And don't worry. I made sure that their grass would grow back. We're not going to leave giant, uh, you know, giant tire marks in their yard. That's that's not how we do things. Uh, oh, that trailer's dragging really bad. Hold on. We're going to move you. This is the issue with this. Come on. Will you work now? Uh-oh. Ugh. It's doing that thing again. All right. Now we're good. Oh, it works so much better now. I mean, it's, you know, it's still bottomed out, but at least it's not, like, actually dragging into the ground. Now... To tell you all the truth, I am so insanely surprised that that rock has not despawned yet. I mean, if it stays there, I'll just use it in our garden or something. I'll just literally, like, put it somewhere in our yard. All right. So, we're back home. Good to go. Unpack. This went incredibly well. Like, genuinely incredibly well. I am... I am mind-blown at how incredibly well this went. All right, you're gonna go on in. Oh, no, hold on. There we go. I thought I had it in automatic mode, and I was like, why are you not shifting into a forward gear? And I'm like, oh, probably because I had you in manual reverse. That's That would explain that. Boom, you're good. And really, now all we gotta do is get everything all back into the driveway. You know, overall, for our first, like, land clearing slash land improvement job, it went quite well. And we even brought a rock home, which I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or not, but we, we did, and it belongs to us now. Uh, so, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas on what to do with that rock, let me know in the comments down below. But if y'all enjoyed this video in SnowRunner, let me know any and all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all next time.